hello guys welcome back to the channel thank you for um, liking the last videos um, thanks for some of the comments I've been getting some comments from a couple of guys I followed you back as well on your YouTube channel I, I like what everybody else is doing as well and um, it, it's always good to be learning and um, uh, you know it, it's just great to be learning learning things instead of sitting around watching the news about this COVID-19 and being depressed and all that it's just great to be able to get into things and do do things differently right we're in a different world now so I've got a question from a customer it, it's a question that happened to pop up on LinkedIn um, and I was um, talking about creating some tools in radar and this particular gentleman wanted to know how to do a louver so we're going to tackle that today so i'm going to actually open up a part i have on my desktop it actually has louver tools in it uh actually there it is here right um open symbol change that desktop open all right so i've got this plate here i want to do some louver tools in it i need i just ordered a new tool i need to get that created so first off i need to create the tool so if i'm here and um, i go into configure and tool library editor i'm going to create a tool so if i take this and we invert the selection it takes everything off right and then I can get down to special tools. And here you can see I've already got a louver tool in here. Right, plain louver tool, but I'm going to show you some other stuff of what you can do when creating a louver tool. So I'm going to create a louver tool right now. And we're going to go 91.91.91. Oh, actually, no. 91. I'm going to go tool type and I'm going to say, okay, this is going to be special. This is going to be a forming tool, and I'm going to give it uh, 2.0 by 0.50, and we're going to leave that in inches, right? Here, this is where you'd give your tool a name, so 2.0 louver, and then this one here for the setting angles, I'm saying it can be set at 0 or 90, right? Here, um, I'm going to leave it a multi-tool station, auto tool station, but a specialized station. I'm just going to leave that as can't use. We should be all right on the symmetry on this one. Um, and I'm leaving this here. And I'm simply going to hit OK. And, create, and it says, yes, create a symbol. So now it's created a symbol for that tool. Right. Um, in Radan before and the older versions you had to usually go and look for the tool open that symbol and do some other stuff but I should be able to go there so now if I pull that library back up and uncheck that and then we go straight to special and we should see my two inch lever tool is there but you notice it's got no geometry well that's okay we're going to sort that out right now right so um First step I do is I use in Radan a feature called copy cursor, right? So I'll come in here and I will go, um, I'll go cursor, jump to cursor, right? And down in the bottom left here, I've got a um, origin. I'm actually going to select the find the by section, right? Point. And that allows me to find the center between this point and this point, right? And now it's telling me to indicate a feature or drag a window. I'm going to drag a window around my louver or the shape I want to use the louver on. And it's put that on the center of my cursor, right? So here I'm just going to go copy the cursor because if I close right in out or open up, it's still going to be on my cursor because I haven't canceled that object out. So now we've got that far, let's come in here and go to tool. Uh, well, actually, let's go to drafting. 
and let's go to configure tool library editor and then jump on my louver tool that we had and I'm going to double click this no so there it is that's the cursor or the tool symbol that I saved as a default so now what I can do is I can all really come in here and go paste cursor object and I've got my tool on there but maybe we want to page this around a little bit um, let's rotate this here orient 90 there we go 180 I'm gonna drop that and snap it to the center of that and then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna get rid of this line and this line leave the blue one there because that's just the origin of that tool now and there's my there's my form tool but we can go one step further so maybe I want to come in here I'm actually gonna come in and change my pen color and I'm gonna change it to um, I like to use the green pen right so and then another thing I'd like to do is put text in there so I'd like to come in and say two inch louver right and uh, we'll go here zero And then I can put this simply in here. And you'll see why I do that in a second. And then I just simply hit save. And I save that. I always leave it on centroid. Hit save. Yes. There's my louver tool. So let's go ahead and open that part again. So open. Uh, let's go desktop. And we'll find our tooling here. Right, so now I'm manually, if I go into Configure, Tool Library Editor, and we'll switch this off again, and we'll just put on the Special Tools, and we'll find our Louver Tool. You can see there's our Louver Tool. Right, so now if I come in here and go over to Tooling, you can actually come in. I'm just going to do a single hit. Uh, we can grab the, our louver tool, hit OK, and here's our tool, and we can set this here, 180 for now. Right, um, if I use a tab key, I can snap to the corner. Right, but fear not, you can automatically tool it in order to do it as well. And the reason I to the two inch louver as I can see on this part when I've tooled it up I can see everything in there okay so let's go here and that's how you create a louver tool um, let me know if you have any questions it was pretty quick pretty easy um, but if you ever need to get a hold of somebody at Radan you can always go to www radan.com and you'll be able to log on to the support portal and create a case and one of our guys will help you there okay stay safe out there and be kind to others cheers have a wonderful day